What is up guys? So today we're going to be taking a quick look at another static site generator called Hugo. Today we're just going to be looking at the website for a brief moment and getting it installed. So let's just go ahead and jump on into it. Alright guys, so I've got the Hugo site up right here and I'm going to put the link of this in the description below. But what we're going to do today is uh, we're just going to go ahead and quickly do this quick start that you see up at the top here. And we're just going to get it installed and try and get it running. Uh, we're, we're just going to, you know, go with all the defaults for now. Uh, we're going to use the default theme and we just want to get the server working with the Hugo site so that we can at least see something on the screen. So let's go ahead and I'm going to click on quick start and we can see what we got to do. So the first step here is to install Hugo. So let me open up the terminal. Um, it says to run brew install Hugo. All right, so I'm gonna run sudo brew install Hugo. That way I can put my password in and it's not gonna ask me a bunch of times. I don't think we've installed brew yet. Let's, let's install brew. Um, I have it installed on my other computer, but I don't have it installed here. This should be good. Uh huh. Installation on the home page. Okay, install brew right here. And let's try and run that. All right, so that's installing. So if you don't have brew, you'll have to do this, but if you if you already have it, you won't have to worry about this part. All right, so now that that's installed, we're gonna come back here and let's go ahead and try and run that again. So I'm gonna run sudo brew install Hugo. Hmm, running homebrew as root is extremely dangerous and no longer Can we, well here, all right, let's try it without the root. See if that works, well, without sudo. So that looks like it'll work. All right, so now let's see if it's installed. So we're just gonna run Hugo version, sorry. So you can see Hugo static site generator version 0.46. Uh, that's on here now. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a site. So to do that, let's go ahead and CD into the desktop. You can see there's nothing in here yet. And then we're going to run Hugo new site, and then we're going to name it. So let's just say um, Hugo tutorial, run that. All right, what's next? A theme. So we need to CD into the file, um, and then we're going to run get init to initialize the repository or yeah <laughs> and then we're going to get uh get submodule add to we're going to add this to the uh project so let me see copy that we can do everything else so uh ls cd into hugo tut um, and then we're going to run git init. All right, then we're gonna paste that code in. It's gonna clone in that repository right there. And then we're going to modify the config.toml uh, file. So to do that, we're just gonna paste this in. So it's gonna echo this line of code to the end of that file. Run that. And then now, let's see what, what else. We can add a new post, so let's go ahead and we'll we'll write this, just my first post. So that's just going to add a post to the website, I believe. Uh, and now we can start the server, so let's run this, it's just Hugo server uh, with the flag of D, and then it should run it. So you see we've got 10 pages, um, one alias, one sitemap. Um, 
All right, and then here is the URL. So localhost port 1313, run that. And there you go. That's that's what you gotta do to get uh, a Hugo site up. Um, you can customize the theme, add things to the config file. In fact, let's just open that real quick. We're not gonna do any editing of the um, project right now. We just wanna kinda take a look at it and see what's here. Uh, but this is pretty much it. So you've got the archetypes, content. So here's your post. Um, it's in Markdown. Uh, data, layouts, resources, static, and then themes. And then this is where that uh, other repository that we pulled in, this is where that theme went. So, and this just has like the same hierarchy in here. So you could build your own themes with this, um, but then you can also utilize other themes and come in here and configure everything, build a whole site, similar to how you would do a Jekyll. All right, guys, that's it. That's all you need to do to get this Hugo installed on your computer, get a new project set up and started, and get the server running. That's all you gotta do. It's actually kind of simple. Um, it's not as simple as Jekyll, but it is still simple. So anyways, I've done some reading on this Hugo, uh, and I personally don't like it that much. Uh, it doesn't interest me, but if this is something that you guys use or that you guys want to look at more and want to learn, let me know and we can do some more videos on Hugo and we can go into more detail about how to actually use the system. Uh, but. I don't know. I don't think I like it personally. But anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Go ahead, take a look at the website. Leave a comment here. Let me know what you think of Hugo. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And if you like the content that I'm uh, creating on this channel, head on over to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash Zachary R. Newton, where you can help support this channel and help me create better videos every week. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.